We take a look at throttle curves and pitch curves in the Eosheen E6 transmitter. Subscribe. Ding the bell. Hey YouTube, I'm Steve with DRCA, Daddy's RC Addiction, and this video goes out again to Durant D. He asked me a while back how to add a model to the Eosheen e6 and he just sent me another comment and he wanted to know how to access the menu and it's specifically the t curve and p curve so that is what i'm going to be showing today in this video so check it out first thing you need to do is access your menu press and hold down the function button and it'll bring up your menu so now to cycle through the menu you press these up and down buttons. So the first selection you have is reverse, then you have dual rates, then you have exponential, then you have T-curve, throttle curve, you have P-curve, pitch curve, you have gyro, you have model select, you have model type, swash type, sub trim, and then you're back to the beginning of the menu. So obviously you wanna cycle down to T-curve. And notice how everything is blinking in the menu. All the numbers for the different parameters and the menu item is blinking. Once you're on what you need or what you want, you press the function button. And now you'll notice that the first parameter is blinking along with its value. So if you need to change it, you just go up or down on the selection button. And when you're good, you press the function button again and that'll go to the next number in the parameters. And then you just change these as you want. I have mine for with the um, mode button set to self-leveling. I have mine set to all 85. Now, if you want to change the throttle curve for idle up, you push this up. Now you're in idle up and it will change these numbers respectfully. So now if I cycle through all of them, I have my idle up values. And again, if you want to change it, you cycle to the number you want to change and you just go up or down, up or down, and you change it accordingly. Now when you're done, just press the end button and it'll back out to the menu again. And notice that the menu item is blinking. So now just cycle down to the P curve, hit the function button again, and now you'll notice that the value and the first parameter number is blinking. So again, you just select the parameter number that you want to adjust, one, two, three, four, or five, right? And you go up or down. So if you recall, I push this up into idle up. So these are my values for the idle up. So if I want to put make different values for my self-leveling, I just pop this into self-leveling. I actually happen to have very similar values, but let's go up to number five and you'll notice that it's different. So idle up, I've got the pitch curve a little bit higher than I do in self-leveling. Third, I've got it the same, and I think the fourth is the same because that's right around mid-stick. And then the last value, I've got a bit higher in idle up. So once you've selected your parameters, then on your values for your parameters, you just press the end button to get out of it. And one more time, and you're out. It's really pretty simple and very similar to the XK remote control. I think that's the, the X6. Uh, the only difference is, is with the XK, you have to press this like that to get the first menu, but then the other option menu on this side, you have to, when you're out, you have to press the function and the end button almost simultaneously, like one, two, and then hold that for a second, and then this other menu comes up. 
That's the only difference with these two. I find this one a little easier because you have access to every menu item without having to press multiple buttons. So that is pretty much it. Well, there you go, Darren D. Hope that helped you out and hope it helped anybody else out that was kind of confused with the Eashin E6. It's a pretty neat controller. It comes with, uh, I think, the E160, and it's a pretty decent entry-level hobby-grade controller that you can put 10 models on, I think, and uh, to include it with a ready-to-fly uh, unit is pretty cool. So, hope that helped you guys out. I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe. Ding the bell.